I do think that uh, the way that we grow, the way that we are shaped into um, Christ likeness is through suffering and through pain. And so, and joy and pain are kind of like kissing cousins. Like you can't really understand joy unless you've suffered. Um, and so uh, marriage is a kind of crucible. It's kind of like a, a, a way that, um, the way that I've described it in the past is, is like, it's this garden where mercy can grow. And like, there's no way to be married for any length of time without realizing a, that we need to learn what it's like to give mercy and what it's like to need mercy. Like <laughs> you just, it's always mm -hmm. happening. You're always having to forgive and you're always having to be forgiven. And, uh, and so, yeah, for, like it, my hunch is like your hunch is that um, in the same way that most people go through some kind of midlife crisis, you know, most of us are going through some kind of, there will be some, some point in your life where uh, you hit rock bottom and then you, you slowly climb your way out of it. And when you're on the other side of it, you're, you're this kind of new person. You're going through a kind of cocoon. And I think marriages are that way too. I think that you, um, any honest marriage, because, you know, sometimes the 84 year old couple sitting on the bench, like um, it is possible that they've just never really talked about their problems. <laughs> 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 and they're living a kind of half-life where they're just like well we're just here and we've never dug in really um but but most of the time i, I would guess that you they they've got stories they've survived some things and and the beautiful thing is like we were just talking about this the other day that that god who is outside of a, outside of time sees the whole painting of our, of human history and the whole painting is a masterpiece right that brings him glory and then we are in the painting moving forward through time and we can't see the whole thing but we do get these glimpses where um like i think when we are invited outside of the painting to see things the way that he sees them we'll be able to to praise him because we can see all the shadows that made the the work more beautiful um but when you're living in the shadow part it doesn't feel like that all the time but you do over the long haul like we've been married for 25 years now um, we can look back at a 25 year old snapshot of the painting and see his goodness. You know, you can just see, uh, you know, I could cry right now thinking about the ways he has taught us about his own heart through the, the deep pain that we've, we share, you know, the, the moment in our marriage where we almost didn't make it um, ended up becoming a badge of honor, you know, um, and it become you give it time to become that by that long obedience idea. So locking into it and allowing Christ to shape you by means of this other human being that you're walking through time with, um, that the only way we give that, that the chance, uh, give, give mercy a chance to grow in that garden is time. And so I think that's, that's all I have to say about that. Do you have yeah. No, I was, uh, I was actually thinking about the grace thing, like learning how to, to receive it and to um to give it is very important because in a in a marriage like 25 years of marriage you have to do both um you know be able to give grace and to receive grace and forgiveness both ways like it's um what was aaron uh tate saying like uh, a person's guilt is equal to you know, well yeah like he your, it was like the if if one person has wronged the other mm -hmm. then the the shame that one person carries might be a, a a greater burden than the the pain that the other person carries right yeah, so the person who has been wronged is actually carrying a, a smaller burden than the one who has done the wronging you know and so so once you realize once you realize that you're both kind of carrying these different burdens and they move over time mm -hmm. you know who who's done the wounding and who's been been wounded uh, that the person who is wounded sometimes uh, needs to remember that uh, they have the power to remove shame through forgiveness, right? You, ha you have the power to lift, lift the, the, the shackles of shame from someone else by just saying, hey, I love you and it's okay, you know? Um, and so we ha God has given us that ability in, in a marriage to, to uh, redeem each other again and again, you know? 